Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Don't mind the dog fur on the bed. This is why we put the plastic on the bed so this doesn't happen. And then we put the dogs on the bed. So, I mean, don't judge me. Stephen King, just after sunset. Paperback, sold on Facebook Marketplace for a whopping $5, plus the cost of shipping. I'm going to get this ready to go out, and then I think we're going to go thrifting. And here we go. It's a nice Linux base, but if it tagged for, well, of course that moved, but 20 freaking dollars. No, no. Let's go check out the mugs. I'm really wanting, like... I'm gonna need something like this for the bus when we start traveling. <gasps> I kinda like that one. Enjoy every moment. For a dollar? I think I might get that one. I really want, like, a good... I keep getting distracted. Like, a good pottery mug. Not seeing any today though. Like an art pottery mug, but like done well. Kind of like that one too. Well, it's a breast cancer one. The time to relax is when you don't have time for it. Cute. And of course, the Starbucks, eight dollars. My goodness. Fenton, Christmas 1970. Hmm. It looks Hager-esque. It's not. A long time ago, I think it was before I even had this channel, I garbage picked. Tiffany and Company um, paperweights. Like, who throws that kind of stuff away? I might swap mugs. This one is awesome. It's vintage Disney. It's not worth anything. I'll keep it. I like this one. It's very fitting for what I've been kind of going through. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you know. I just mentally have been having a hard time. It's a cool pattern in Casa. And I've been doing daily gratitudes and meditating and really trying to get myself out of a funk. That's interesting. And my mugs make me happy. So like, I like the enjoy every moment, but at the same time it's kind of unrealistic. Ooh, 50 might be a little rough today. We gotta pay rent. Okay. Yeah, I mean, what's it worth? Shoot, I should have grabbed your flipping fund. Um, 100 to 135. Should we try to scrape it up? New place, new mugs, Virginia. Which would be cool if I bought it whilst in Virginia. Same with the Seattle one. So many one places and got mugs. There's a bunch down here too. San Fran, Atlanta, St. Louis. <laughs> I feel like I could be friends with that person. Oh, those are cute. Terramoto. Two dollars. So like, do I? I don't really want to spend that on that. Darn it. Ew. That's neat. Twelve fifty though. That's really pretty too. No, that's when I started putting it together. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Six fifty. Do not need it. We are 
a little on the broke side right now. Yes. Oh, now there's a freaking luck of the Irish. Oh man, if it didn't have that stain, I would have bought it now for next year. I looked for freaking, what, a month and a half for a, a good St. Patty's Day mug? I have that same dog underneath my blanket ladder. <laughs> That's cool. <gasps> and then I walked right past the freaking giant penguin. 18 bucks though. Mer. Someone collected elephants. Oh my gosh, I freaking love it. Oh, it's 20 bucks though. I can't justify it. Uh, so I bought a mug. That's it. He thinks I'm talking to him. He's like, what? Uh, yeah, $3. That was the entire haul for today. I am going to put it up for sale, but I'm also going to clean it and use it until it sells. Because it's freaking awesome. Look, it's the Cheshire Cat's butt. <laughs> anyway, we're going to move on because thrifting was just meh. We did get the rent paid, though, so that is a plus. It's a transformer. That's literally the only things I know about it other than Rich is selling it for 10 bucks and somebody's supposed to be coming to pick it up porch pickup style. So we'll just see what happens. Wow, well, I'm kind of surprised. I don't know why <laughs> the weird transformer thing got picked up and we made 10 bucks off of it. I don't even know where that came from, but cool. I am just been not in the mood at all lately to box things, which has now left me a pile of things to box. This being the first thing. I just finished this the other day. I'm going to turn it on so you guys can see it. It's freaking awesome. Months ago, we went to a doll collector auction, and I went there specifically looking for, like, the broken dolls that I could repurpose. That video has a lot of traffic for some reason, and people go ape about the way that I handled the dolls. I mean, really, it was bad. Like, I still get comments on that video at least every month. People go, I can't believe you treat those dolls like that. Those are worth a lot of money. Probably don't show them this because this is what I did with the dolls. <laughs> I still have one over here. Oh, Rich did take the eyes out of it. That is going to get turned into... A creepy doll headlamp but yeah that is what I did with those the bodies were destroyed they were cracked broken I just assembled those pretty much I think I threw all those out I still have this head too that I'm thinking I need to do something with anyways this sold within two days of um, listing it and all it is is a battery operated tea light one of the kinds that flicker this, hold on, I'm going to take it elsewhere so you can see it. This is just a candle stand for like a, a like cylindrical candle. And I got that at the bins and I held on to it thinking that it would work well for one of these creepy freaking headlamps. Anyway, so this on our oddities Etsy for $25 plus the cost of shipping. Oh my gosh, it was purchased as a gift. And the gift message, oh, it says, come on, focus. It says, enjoy this all over your home, a friend who misses you. Dude, how come I don't have friends like that? Nobody's ever sent me a doll headlamp. All right, I'm going to get it boxed up. And while not nearly as cool as a doll headlamp, we sold the crackle glass pitcher from Great Nana's estate. I'm pretty sure it's Blanco. I'm like 90% sure it's Blanco due to this right here. Also, she had high-end taste. Obviously, you guys see me unpack stuff. This sold on Etsy for $40 plus the cost of shipping. I believe we picked this up for like a buck or two at Kiwanis. Just sold it on Etsy for 20 bucks plus cost of shipping. The dogs may sound like they're murdering each other in the background. They're not. They're just playing. <laughs> As I was saying, there's a name on this somewhere. It's with a P. Oh, there it is. 
it is Pelco. Oh my gosh, hold please. My goodness. Get a beagle, they said. It'll be fun, they said. This is a mess kit. I'm not going to like show you because I have to take this off and it's a pain in the butt to get back on, but it's like a pot and pan set for camping and it sold for $15 over on Etsy. And we've got two Stephen Kings going out via Facebook Marketplace. Sold Stephen King's cell in hardcover for $8 plus the cost of shipping and I think I have a couple more copies of this floating around. And Duma Key. I don't think this book gets nearly enough hype. It is my third favorite Stephen King book. 112263 is just always going to be my favorite. And then The Stand is a very close second. Duma Key comes in third. Sold this on Facebook Marketplace for $10 plus the cost of shipping to the same lady that bought sell. Oh boy, I need to get back on track. Yesterday we took a little break from work and uh, went to Ohio, loud truck, <laughs> went to Ohio for the solar eclipse, so I didn't do any work. Um, this is pending pickup for this morning, I think $45, she's supposed to be here in about 15 minutes, or just out messing with the van, so he can kind of take care of this, I think. I don't know, like I said, it's a marketplace, 50-50 shot, whether they show up or not. Boom. She actually showed up. So the, that table came from that auction, the estate auction we went to. Sold it for $45, so I'm pretty okay with that. You guys are getting fur all over my bed. All over it. That's why we cover it when we're not here. So these guys don't just shed fur everywhere. Like, look how much fur you guys leave everywhere. Although I think most of this is from the beagle. We've been letting them snuggle with us at night. And it's creating a fur disaster. Anyway, I am listing. I'm just going kind of slow. I'm whipped out, man. Yesterday was like a long day. We left at 9 o'clock in the morning. We didn't get back till 7 o'clock last night, but it was such a fun day. Since I had another copy of Cell by Stephen King, I did just get this listed up on Pango Books and up on um, Facebook Marketplace, so I'll get that out of the way. And then I know I've got a pile of stuff I still have to list. I just am being lazy and don't feel like doing it. I don't know why I do this to myself. I can't get this stupid knot open. Oh my god. I'm contemplating on whether the $4 I made off this was worth trying to get that knot undone. I'm not going to completely unroll it because I don't want to get dog fur on it. I, I flipped this to the side that does not have dog fur on it. Uh, Our Mother of Guadalupe. I believe I paid $3.99 for this. I knew at the time that I purchased it. I wasn't going to make a ton of money off of it. It is just like a made in China polyester blanket. It's a thermal blanket, but oh my gosh, it's in such good condition and it's just so pretty. I listed it for 18, um, ended up taking a $15 offer plus the cost of shipping on Facebook marketplace. So I'm going to fold this up all nice and neat and get this ready to go out. Did I give you the right information on this? Because now I'm seriously starting to question myself, but I'm also really tired from <laughs> yesterday. My brain's not working. Did I tell you this was a lady of Guadalupe? I don't know what I said. I might have said something totally different. It is a lady of Guadalupe blanket, throw blanket. I don't know. <sighs> Grace. Grace today is what I'm going for. Picked up my new glasses. <laughs> and as we've established... My eye doctor is right next to a Salvation Army. Oh, it still has this foil tag, but I couldn't read that to save my life. Candle holder. That actually does say something, which is interesting, because I think it is a fountain piece. I don't think the hobnail one goes through very much, though. is that? That is an interesting piece. It's like the whole set. Oh, it stamped something. Funny thing is, I have many glasses, but I'm not used to them yet. Fry wing something. I don't know. Fry oven glass? No. 
but I don't know, man. I want 20 bucks for this set, which may be a good deal, but I don't know. Wow, look at that piece. That is pretty. I don't want it, but it's pretty. $3. TVs. That is adorable. Oh, that's the couch I need for the bus. Well, actually, I just need the cushions. I want something like 80s floral. What do you guys think? But like with thick cushions. That's what I want. <laughs> I don't know what they want for it. Thirty bucks. That's actually very reasonable. He's on a mission to find me a good solid case because of the dogs and the cats and the yeah, me. That's pretty the me. <laughs> Let's be real. Stiff. These are my new glasses. Aren't they cute? I just have to get used to them. I'm complaining about prices. And I have to complain about this even worse. I hate that so much. Like, there's a big chip in that. And they just colored it in. Like, no one's gonna notice. What the heck are these? Are they just, like, weird decorative things? And that's why I like them? Because they don't make sense? Or do they actually have a purpose? <laughs> Inquiring minds need to know. Sometimes we get lucky here. I think today is just not the day. We do have to ask about the glasses case though. I heard oh, that no. season. <laughs> Turtle saving season. Still probably one of my weirdest bins pickups are <laughs> these little flocked animals. There was a ton of them just floating around at the bottom of the bins and for some reason I decided to grab them. I've listed them as a quantity listing for $1.99 each. I sold a ton of them on this lot. It's weird. I've been selling them one at a time for a while and then somebody finally bought more than one. <laughs> Um, I have to count and see how many of these I have left, because I don't think that I have an accurate number on, like, Etsy and eBay, so. Anyway, I don't even know what the, like, what the, I know $19.99 was the total, but I don't think, I don't know if that includes shipping or not. Yep, I was right. Alright, so the total, subtotal was $19.90, which is what I made off of those, uh, without fees and all that. <laughs> and then... It was thirty two seventy four with shipping, so not bad for. I mean, these don't weigh freaking anything. I don't know what I paid for them because it was a bins pickup, but not much. Kermy, I love Kermy. The funniest thing is our dog, our beagle, makes this freaking Kermit the Frog face, and I've got a like representation saved on my phone. I'm just waiting for her to do the face when I can get a photo of it so I can do a side by side. Um, I have a tendency to do stuff like that. <laughs> um, the Chihuahua, she is, uh, she has a missing tooth in the front and she looks just like Lloyd Christmas and I have literally done a side by side and it is uncanny. They look identical. Anyway, Kermie. Sold Kermie on Facebook Marketplace. I had him listed for $40. I ended up getting a $35 offer. He is an Eden Toys, which I'm actually going to pay more attention to. Um, I don't know if it is just the Kermit that was worth 40 bucks. Uh, some were listed even higher than that. I'm broke and not trying to sit on things right now. I don't know if it's the Eden Toys. I need to do a little bit more research and find out if that's a gem or what. But yeah, $35 plus the cost of shipping on Facebook Marketplace. And you guys seen us garbage pick these. These are Fenton Opalescent Swirl light shades. Obviously, we have no money into them. <laughs> Sold them on eBay for $45. I probably could have got more, but like I said, we're broke and I'm not trying to hold on to stuff right now. So $45 plus the cost of shipping on eBay. Although the cranberry swirls, I am going to list higher and I'm going to be a little bit more firm on the price. But uh, yeah, I'm okay with 45 for these ones. And on that note, guys, I'm going to sign you off. I'll see you on the next. Bye.